Welcome to SUSD Spotlight, your go-to source for all things happening within the district. Whether it's celebrating student and staff achievements, delving into trending education topics, or highlighting inspiring human interest stories, we've got you covered. Join us as we illuminate the incredible endeavors taking place in our schools and forge connections within our community. Get ready to be informed, inspired, and engaged as we embark on this journey together, spotlighting the extraordinary in SUSD. Welcome to another edition of SUSD Spotlight. Today, we're really excited to highlight the SUSD Foundation, and we have with us Kristen Schroyer, who is the chair of the Scottsdale Unified School District Foundation and also an SUSD alum. Welcome. Yes, thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. So maybe you can start by telling us a little bit about yourself and your history with Scottsdale Unified. Yeah, absolutely. So I am a proud SUSD alumni. We, I've been there 13 years, K through 12, Cochise, Cocoa Paw, Chaparral. So I went to Cochise back in the days when it was like a temporary type oh, situation right, yes. because I think Scottsdale boomed so much that the school wasn't fully built yet. So we were like kind of like a mobile home type uh, school right. at the time. The library was the only permanent building. So it's really fun to go back to Cochise now and see the beautiful school that it is. Um, and then Cocopa for seventh and eighth grade and then Chaparral. And I graduated in 2001. That's exciting. Yeah. And now you're the chair of the foundation board. So tell me how you got on the foundation and, and what it is to be the chair of the foundation board. Yeah, absolutely. So I had a friend who went through K through 12 with me at a Cochise Cocopa Chaparral that was on the board. And she came to me and she told me about it. And immediately I was so interested because um, I went to U of A for college. Okay. And I feel like U of A is very good about coming to me and saying, hey, continue to support our school. And this is the first time I learned about a way to give back to SUSD. And although I loved my four years at U of A, I truly believe that it's the time I spent in SUSD in elementary, middle, and high school that really shaped the person that I am today. And I'm so thankful for all the incredible teachers that I had that changed my life. And so I thought this is a great way to give back. And so that was when I initially joined, and that was about six years ago that I did. And what is the mission of the SUSD Foundation? Yeah, so our mission is to provide excellence for the Scottsdale Unified School District and we fund programs that would otherwise go unfunded. So things like uh, the the sports banquet that's coming up, Mm -hmm. um, the incredible canine program uh, that we uh, recently launched, and we're a pioneer in in the country and a lot of people learning about us. So these programs come up that they need funding that, you know, normally wouldn't go funded, and so we're really proud to be able to do that. But it's all about providing excellence. And the foundation membership, are they mostly alum or parents or... Yeah. How do these people come to be a part of the organization? Yeah, absolutely. It's kind of a mix of everything. So there are some, some alumni, uh, just some community members that are very passionate about supporting our local community and our local schools, um, some business leaders. Uh, it's just kind of a little mix of everything, which makes it a really impactful and fun group to be a part of. So I, I love the theme of supporting excellence, especially given our theme this year is elevating excellence, yes, reaching new heights together. And we rely on the foundation for so many of the opportunities that we can provide our students. You mentioned the uh, the uh, Crisis K-9 program. Can you talk a little bit about, more about that idea, how it started, and now the uh, point we're at and what you envision maybe for the future? Yeah, absolutely. I, when I had joined the board, it was already in motion. So Rocket was already at Chaparral. But it's just such an incredible program. And I love that it started before COVID, too, because children's mental health and everything that's happening with uh, kids today is at the forefront. And I love that SUSD put that as a priority um, before all that. And so uh, with the Crisis Canine Program, we have canines that are trained to um, help ch- uh, children in times of crisis. And they're teamed up with the SRO. So we know at Chaparral, um, Rocket is teamed up with Officer Lines, and he is just a part of that community. And he visits all the neighboring schools as well. Uh, we've since now have two additional dogs, which is great at other um, learning communities. And we really have a big goal of doing an additional two. I know the fourth is already funded and on the way, and then having all five uh, being taken care of. But I just love hearing the officers' uh, real-life stories of of how these dogs are helping students and just making these communities such a brighter place. So whether it be a student that's sitting in the hallway and doesn't want to go to class um, and, you know, the dog uh, helps calm the student down and, uh, or even when a student's maybe having a little bit of a breakdown and doesn't feel comfortable talking to an adult about it, but, you know, dogs are just always there for you. And so um, I, I'm a big golden retriever lover. And so obviously seeing these dogs on campus, I think is just such a fun thing, but, um, 
and I, I don't know if you know, but Rocket went to prom too. Uh, Ro- he got to wear a little I, I bow tie. Saw his <laughs> yes, impressive. He, yes, he wore a tux. He had, he's in the yearbook. He's just definitely a, a part of of the school community, which is great. It seems like the the pups go a long way toward building relationships too. So yes. whether you're in crisis or not, who doesn't just walk up right. and, and cuddle with a with a with a puppy and probably then feel better about the day? Absolutely, I know. And just reaching out to our local community members too. Um, all the officers that have these dogs are so responsive and helpful. Anytime we have an event with SUSD and yeah like you said just make everybody smile and make everybody's day brighter you guys do so much for students but you do a lot to support teachers too yes mm-hmm. so we uh we're because teachers oh my gosh if we any parent that had to be mm-hmm. a teacher during the pandemic mm-hmm. we hats off to all the teachers out there because they do so much for our children uh but yeah like uh helping uh fund the national board certification is something we're really passionate about doing. Um, I, when we we did the welcome back rally, sometimes we fund these things and you put the money out there and it's great, but it was so great to have these teachers come up to us and tell us how much they appreciate those dollars and what it's been able to do for, for them. So when you talk about those dollars and the investments that you make, Mm -hmm. what does it take to raise the funding? What are the kinds of things that you do to get people to give in order to be able to do the good that you're doing in our district? Yeah, absolutely. So we do a lot of really fun events. Um, like we have our golf uh, tournament every spring and then we have a big event that's coming up here in the fall Uh, we used to do a kind of a bigger fancier gala and we learned that a lot of people out there just want something that's a little bit more casual and a little Mm -hmm. bit more fun Um, so our fall event this year is going to look similar to what it was last year Um, it's at Porter's Western Saloon on November 14th want to make sure I get my date right yep November 14th from 5 to 7 p.m. and it's called the Ho Ho Holiday Show because it's a really fun holiday happy hour I love the date because you're not inundated with all the holiday events yet it's actually really fun to see santa hats and stuff because you don't start to see them just yet and it's a great way to fundraise and support uh support the susd foundation and all these great programs that we do and we also do just several you know fundraising opportunities throughout the year too so if there's any businesses that really want to get involved and give back uh to our students we always welcome that and then if you want to join the board as well there's uh we always um, open that opportunity too for other additional members so when people uh donate they do get a tax right off it's a charitable yes, contribution exactly they do it's 100 percent tax deductible and and uh if they wanted to learn more about the ho ho holiday show do you have a website or information where they can actually log on and, and get more information yeah we do they can go to the susd or just susdfoundation.org uh, and on our the events tab i think it's right there on the home page too so you can learn more about that tickets are super affordable it's a really fun event it's just from five to seven a really quick fun happy hour and there's amazing prizes too we do like a fun gift exchange where you can get uh, tickets and do a gift exchange last year i got a tv i'm just saying that's really how nice. that's a, it was Very it was cool. kind of sneaky because it wasn't a big tv box it was in a small little card. So you, you never know what type of prize you're going to get. It's it's pretty fun. Well, and I recall Porter's and or it was the foundation also uh-huh. collecting gift items for students. Is that something that you all are partaking in again this year? Yes, I believe we will be uh, doing that again this year. Mm-hmm. So even if you can't attend, yes. there's plenty of ways to still give and support the cause. Absolutely, 1,000%. And again, um, our, found, our website, susdfoundation.org, is always accepting donations. And we want to get more businesses involved. So with it's having a board member on our board or just um, sponsoring this event our uh, spring golf golf tournament Mm -hmm. which is at mountain shadows resort every year it's like it's it's the perfect time of year Uh, the dogs come out again it's so much fun Uh, so any way you want to get involved we'd love to have additional uh, community support so when you think about the potential impact of the foundation in the future what are the things you're working on yeah, there's definitely, I mean, we, we work closely with you and, and the long-term vision of the foundation. I mentioned additional dogs that we want to get mm-hmm. um, funded as well. So we have every learning community continuing to do that. Uh, really excited about the entrepreneurship initiative at Coronado High School. And to kind of s- piggyback on talking about getting additional uh, community members involved to get businesses to help, right. whether it be internships, uh, mentorships, uh, what name you to really help um, these students be even more connected to the local businesses in Scottsdale School or in Scottsdale. The the ability to provide some seed funding for innovative ideas is really critical. Yes. Uh, in the past, they've been teacher mini grants, and I think now there's an opportunity to really leverage the commitment to innovation that's outlined in our strategic plan. Yep. But that can't happen if the foundation doesn't continue to raise funding to invest in the future. Exactly. And we also put a really big emphasis on our Title I schools and how we fund those as well. 
Yeah, which, which I would say really is an important point because not every school has the ability to raise as much money as others when it comes to PTO participation. Exactly. And the foundation can step in and ensure that students, regardless of where they live, have access and opportunity to these amazing opportunities. That, yeah. Well, sure. and the entrepreneurship program that's taking shape is really fun to see and appreciate all of your support of that. And some of the networking events that have happened over the years where students have an opportunity mm -hmm. to connect with a professional. Might any of those be in the pipeline again? Yes, definitely. That is something we, because um, we even had several board members that participated in that. And it's it's just anybody that has done that, it's just as rewarding for the person that is mentoring for the, for the student too. So that is definitely in the pipeline as well. Well, and if you could wave a magic wand, what would you like to see happen next? Oh my goodness, um, <laughs> more more funding for um, all of all of uh, Scottsdale and all of Arizona education for sure. Um, hopefully, that's not <laughs> getting too right. political that's with it, with anything. Um, but yeah, just continuing to um, be able to fund these incredible programs, um, making sure all of our Title One schools have the support they, they need. You mentioned the PTO support. Right. That was a big aha for me. Uh, my children are in uh, SUSD, and we have a very passionate PTO group, and it's incredible what they're able to raise. We did have a Title I a PTO person come to our one of our board meetings. She was the only representative in their entire school right. and was asking for $200 uh, for an item. So it just goes to show you um, how much those schools do need our support. And uh, so I'm excited to, if I were to have my magic wand, to be able to give them just as much support as um, all of our other schools do as well. Yeah, I, I, I support that. I think that's a um powerful way to invest in the future mm -hmm. and and uh, quite frankly all of our kids deserve to have that kind of support absolutely so you mentioned coming through our system the three c's mm -hmm. and and uh, you talked about um, the impact scottsdale unified school district had on who you are today yep. we like to have and ask our guests to talk about teachers who made a difference and is there anyone along your educational journey that you can think of as a teacher who really was a difference maker that you'd like to give a shout out to? Oh, that's a, it's a tough one because I had a lot of really great, really, really great teachers. Um, I, I would say at Chaparral High School, I had, um, he was, uh, his name was Mr. Salcedo. He was our, um, he was a, a teacher, but he was also our leader for student government. Student okay. government was where I, um, I think I really kind of blossomed and like real grew uh, my leadership qualities and everything it just really gave me that confidence with mm -hmm. so many ways right. uh, and he he was incredible and just really kind of inspired that um, that spirit of entrepreneurship whether it be fundraising um, I mean I remember doing bagel fundraisers like every single day <laughs> but we raised enough money so that um, seniors could go to prom for free at chaparral which nice. was really fun but yeah I would definitely say mr. and it's probably because I had him um, all four years and for anyone that's listening that did go to uh, school with me they'll remember my classic tagline which was my maiden name is Sensman so Sensman just makes sense that was that nice. was it <laughs> and to this day they still they still say call me that they'll text me hey that's Sensman just makes sense <laughs> but yeah I, I would probably have to say uh, mr. Salcedo for that reason. I think that's fantastic. And for people who are listening who might not be familiar with Scottsdale Unified School District and why it's the best choice for their child, what would you say to a parent who's considering their educational options? Oh my goodness. There's, I mean, SUSD has changed my life so much. My, I, as we were mentioning mm -hmm. earlier, my, my mom and my sister are both employed in the district and have, um, have grown so much there as well. I've chosen to set, send my children there. Um, you're, there's so many options and so many unique opportunities that now with open enrollment, how you can go and they like, choose different right. learning communities that are best for your student as well. Um, we're kind of right in the middle of shop and DM. And as we're like thinking about uh, different options there, it's so, it's so fun to see the different offerings that each of these learning communities have. Um, the teachers are outstanding. Every single, um, teacher that I had personally and now that my children have the opportunity to have I, I can't say enough about SUSD and just every time you 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 donate how it's helping lo our local community what's the the statistic you shared about dollars going into our community oh, yeah like for every for every dollar invested in uh -huh. Scottsdale Unified there's a five dollar return yep I mean it's, it is one of the best investments you can make absolutely see I just I can't say enough about it and I'm so honored to be able to be a part of the foundation and continue to give back. I'm rallying a lot of my fellow alumni too, because all of us just had such a special experience. And uh, it's really special to now have our ki my kids be able to go. It was really fun because my daughter had a volleyball game at Cocopaw Middle School. Mm -hmm. 
And a lot has changed with Cocoa Palm Middle School since right. my day. But that gymnasium looks very similar. <laughs> and I felt so old and so young at the same time <laughs> sitting in that gymnasium watching my daughter play uh, volleyball. So anyway, and I texted it to all of – and I was thinking about it, I texted it to all the girls that I played uh, volleyball right. with at Cocoa Palm, and I still have all of their phone numbers. That's how special of a community it is. The people that, that you grow up with are special people. So I think you hit the nail on the head when you said community because yep. I'm also a parent in the yep. district, and there's ample choice for sure and our academics and the opportunity for our students are are unmatched for sure but the community the opportunity for the parent engagement to be a part of the foundation Mm -hmm. to volunteer and visit classrooms it's the community that really gets me every time exactly and we all realized how much we desperately missed our community during the pandemic and so how grateful it was for us to all come back um we didn't have to spend too much time away from one another so kudos to you guys in the district for um for getting us through those crazy times uh but definitely the community is is so important well, as a legacy of success, we appreciate the way that you're giving back to the community. Thank you. Uh, so excited that your uh, children are in our system and look forward to seeing how they progress through and which high school you choose. Mm-hmm. And and uh, at the end of this um, podcast, I want to say thank you for helping to raise money to support and invest in the future generations of students coming through Scottsdale Unified. It truly makes a difference. Thank you so much. Well, and we hope that people will continue to tune in and pitch us new ideas for future podcast episodes. You can find us on our website, suscd.org backslash spotlight.